I'm Jeff Browning. Uh, I'm an ultra runner and ultra running coach, also an ultra spire ab athlete. Uh, I've been running ultras for 22 years. And in that time I've uh, racked up over 150 finishes. And my specialty distance is 100 milers. That's my favorite distance at least, especially hard mountain hundreds. So running mountain hundreds, uh, one of the things you need is gear, especially with weather and temperature drops. And when you're running 100 milers, you're running through the night. So Bryce and I have known each other for a long time. And he's a creative person. I'm a creative person, uh, being a former graphic designer. And I really, uh, when we put our heads together, we get sketches out and we talk and um, we geek out about features and materials. Um, so the objective of this Bronco race vest was a light five liter pack that could carry just enough to have a mountain kit, a light mountain kit, so you could go light and fast in the mountains, and, uh, but never really have to take it off. So you could you know, reach over the back, stash stuff, grab stuff out, have side pockets that are accessible in the front, hydration in the front, uh, and just almost like it's not even on you. So my nickname is Bronco Billy, and that came around in when I first was in the sport, so maybe 2003, I had a friend that I ran with, and I used to yell "Giddy up" all the time when we were when our stoke was high, and or if you know we were in technical stuff or really hairy situation, you go "Giddy up," and uh, so he he started calling me Bronco Billy, uh, and then I had some other friends in the in ultra running and. Uh, that had been around and mentored me and they all started calling me Bronco and then I just started hearing people start yelling Bronco at races and it just kind of stuck. Well, I think one of the things that's very important to continue to compete is to be motivated to train. Like you have to like the training. And I like the process of training. I like running in mountains. I like running in wild spaces. And, you know, I train alone a lot, probably 90 plus percent of the time I'm by myself. So, you know, in part of ultra running, especially 100 milers or 200 milers, they're a solo event. I mean, there are other people around and you run into other people from time to time, but you spend a lot of time in your own head. And I don't mind being in my own head. There's not one thing that makes ultra running like ultra running. It's like all, a culmination of all of it. Like, mountains and like a vista a coyote that crosses your path in the early morning or and you have this interaction with for you know 30 seconds and you say something to him you know good morning <laughs> or whatever you know bombing off a mountain on really technical terrain and dropping 2,000 feet in one and a half miles to get off a mountain because a storm unexpected storm came in and one of the things that really attracted me to ultra running in the first place and the training of ultra running was going light and fast in the mountains, meaning you're standing in a valley and you go, hey, we're gonna be on top of that summit in like an hour and a half. And then we're gonna tag that summit and then we're gonna run the whole ridge line. And then we're gonna cut down that canyon and back over that ridge line and then back to the car. And then we're gonna go get breakfast. I mean, that's, that's ultra running.